Three ways to back up your DaVinci Resolve local database library or move it to another computer? Yeah, why not? But why should you back up your database anyway? But first, my name is Alex and I do videos mostly about DaVinci Resolve, Lightroom Classic and of course computers. So hit that bell icon and subscribe if you like that uh, and not particularly that order. First question, why? Most of the time, I see that question in Reddit or forums. It sounds like this. Oh my god, I just wanted to try the new beta of DaVinci Resolve 19 and I upgraded my database and now I can't actually use it in a production environment where it's DaVinci 18. I'm screwed! Yeah, kind of. <laughs> And that might be the most popular reason why do you want to back up either before upgrading of course or even doing the backup and transfer it to another machine that's another good reason too obviously file corruption can occur or a fire hazard can occur so it's always interesting to have a solution to back up that somewhere i should probably precise somewhere else because if there's a fire or something you lose everything so the first method to do it is just to simply copy a folder and you're gonna have a copy <laughs> just go into the file explorer and copy this path and click enter and boom you have it i've put the path below for Linux and Mac OS 2. So just go be down below. Wait, no, wait, come back here, come back here. I'm not done yet. They are, the paths are there, don't worry. The, path, the paths are there. <laughs> there are different paths for versions that are more recent and older versions, so I've put all the paths there. But once you are in the correct place, you're gonna mostly end up into the Resolve This Database folder. Copy and paste that. I've used uh, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and there you go. Boom. You have a proper copy of your local database library. Now I like to rename it. So I'm gonna write down backup, the date or the month. I usually write down when do I want to delete that? So same thing, let's go like that. This is where the moving part, if you want to move it to a new computer or another computer, I think this is cross. It will work between different types of computers. So for example, PC to Mac or Mac to PC or to Linux. You will have to test it though, I'm not sure. One part that I'm not sure that you have to test, I'm not sure if this includes also, for example, your LUTs, and stuff like that. If you don't like to fumble around with the file explorer and everything, you can also go launch DaVinci Resolve, just go into file, project manager or shift one, depending on the shortcut and the technology you're using, and you're gonna end up with all your projects. Click on that little icon right here, show and hide project libraries. And usually you should have only one. In the earlier version, you're gonna have a disk because this up here is not inside the older versions so you're gonna have here instead of local disk and then you're gonna have a mysql i think or a postgres sql but in this case you should have only a local database so you're gonna right click and just click on file open file location and then boom you're gonna end up exactly at the same place where your resolve this database is and then you can copy it like you want how to back up your davinci resolve local database library second method so either when you launch davinci resolve you're gonna end up with the project manager or just like before i can simply go to file project manager and just go in it and just like before once you are in the project manager just click on the project library icon and there's this little icon here details and there is a button backup if you are using something else in version 18 you'll have actually a little icon here so you just choose the database you want and you're gonna have a little icon here called backup so you can use that instead but in 18 and more just go detail backup and it's gonna tell you where you want to send that so you can send it wherever you want. So how to back up DaVinci Resolve local database library. Third method. This is more of an automated ways of backing up your database. I use Veeam. It's free. It's free? Yes. Veeam agent is actually free. How free? You can use it for a commercial use. For example, you have a studio. Yeah. You can use Veeam agent for Microsoft Windows as a free project. For Linux, if you do not install a license, the product will operate in the free edition, which is fine. What about for Mac? If you do not install a license, the product will operate in free edition. If you have a Mac, you can actually use Time Machine, 
There was before time capsules, but this has been discontinued for Mac. But you can have a NAS, you can send it to something else, an external hard drive, USB or Firewire. You can even send it to the same disk, but this is kind of more of a safeguard. It's not really a backup. If you have a company, you would have a kind of a strategy to back up that disk also or that folder also so let's go with veeam i'm just going to show you quickly so you install the veeam agent i think i have a video back before to how to use veeam exactly but yeah you can go into the uh, job exit the job and then you put a title backup mode i do almost the entire computer backup but you can do a file level backup if you want to just get the folder well, let's go to file backup and then you want to check everything here and you just go down the file where it is so we're gonna go here i'm gonna go into uh program data black magic design davinci resolve is the folder you will want so we'll just get that destination well we can send it to a share folder a onedrive even and that's still free inside or local storage and then you can say put it on the same drive so that's pretty much foolproof it's not a backup though it's a safeguard if you put it on the same drive but you can actually send it to an external nas hard drive usb drive etc actually met one of uh, the representative for veeam and uh, I, I told them it's free right I said yeah no problem because you can integrate veeam with a whole big software called veeam backup and replication and then it's gonna tie in into your corporate solution and everything so they're fine if it's a machine or two or three it's fine so all those methods are great to back up the davinci resolve local database library and it's gonna save your life and a post on reddit so <laughs> see you in the next video guys and take care